And welcome to today's episode of the Yo Yo Show. We are after the elusive, stinky smelling skunks. <laughs> As you can see, I'm over here. It says Barnhart, but it's like Burke Halter rigging is what this place used to be. I've trapped here before. Skunks has actually got under the building, sprayed, and inside all the offices over there, it just reeks of that smell. Smells awful to some people, smells like money to me. Because I like to trap them, get paid. So anyway, we got the Duke traps, case traps. We're gonna go around the perimeter here in just a minute, looking at different ways or different spots that they may be going under tracks and whatnot. Had a lot of rain, so might not see a whole lot of actual tra uh, action, but we'll check it out real quick and uh, see what we got. All right. So it rained a lot last night, so it's gonna be really hard to tell. But you can see a little digging, a little bit of digging. Maybe that's a little fresher right there, as you can see. Uh, skunks dabbing around a little bit. Maybe a armadillo, uh, not an armadillo, maybe a possum or whatnot. Got a little tunnel right here. Even though it rained, it doesn't look like any action come out. But as you can see, that gravel right there on the left is a little, uh, if it wouldn't have rained so much, you could tell it's probably fresh. So it could be going up under there and in. And uh, we'll just have to see. But we'll set a, we'll have a trap set right here for sure and there. And then we'll, go to the other side and look as well so anyway just look for those little subtle signs because we did have a lot of rain last night so it's really hard to tell exactly uh where they're going in and out but inside it reaps it smells so and maybe we may be able to find a spot here shortly uh of actually actually as i get over here i can smell a lot more uh uh it's like a lot more digging up right here. Oh, I can definitely smell more smell right here. Oh yeah. So he got up under there. I mean, he got up under those blocks. It's off the ground a little bit. He got up under there. So I know the smell is probably just coming out of there. With that being said, we could find that spot. But I'm seeing a lot of digging. You you might not be able to tell because it rained. But this is like that's digging. That's digging. Something's coming around here. And they're doing that. They're gonna looking for just something to eat so we'll see oh, keep checking it out uh oh oh yeah oh yeah it looks like a spot right there uh with the hog i mean that hogs <laughs> i keep always get hogs on my mind let's see if i can get up here. can you see the little foot tracks right there foot tracks yep Anyway, all right, so, looks like a good little spot, but I can tell you, they've had a cage, they've tried to trap them themselves, and usually that's not uncommon for a lot of places, that's not uncommon for a lot of places to try to trap something before they hire a professional, I mean, I'm not going there, I'm not a professional, <laughs> but I actually caught a skunk back there years ago, and, uh, <laughs> they come in here with a nine millimeter shot the skunk in the cage shot the cage up shot the skunk up and and everything thought they was helping but then it sprayed again so anyway got a few spots we're going to line this front office with a few traps uh they're going to check the traps call me if they catch and i'll handle it and then this weekend i'll have to be here because they're not here so since they're not going to be here on the weekend i don't want to set any traps behind the building behind lock gates and that way it's not a problem in a, in a skunk or whatever i catch possum anything that can get in there uh you don't want them getting caught and have to stay in there all weekend like i said i may knock things in the head but i have a heart about it you know what i'm saying so anyways so this is the building adjacent to there i'm assuming they must lease out this company must lease out this building to this company so but I want to show you, I'm going to set a trap over here too, just in case, because you can see there's a little loose, loose dirt right there. Something had been digging. It's not going under the building. It's just something's been digging. And anytime that something's been scratching or digging, you don't know if it's that possum or that skunk. And uh, cause like I said, possums get caught in the cages too. You just roll it over and uh, or take it somewhere and roll it over, knock them in the head, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, I prefer for nothing to be I prefer not to turn anything loose on the property because it just takes a chance of that same animal going back in there and tripping your trap. So anyway, let's get some stuff together and uh, see if we can't get some traps. We got four, <coughs> we got six traps. We'll put two over there, four in the front here, and uh, we'll probably put some back to back over there. 
and I'll explain a little bit more about this trap. All right, so what I'm trying to do, or what I'm gonna do, these are the traps I'm gonna use, these Duke traps, you can get them at Duke trap, DukeTraps.com or West Point, Mississippi, call down there. Uh, and get them or whatnot. But what I like about these Duke traps is if, so what you do is you'll set this trap and of course you'll go in there and get caught. Flip it over. Now, if you get an animal that you don't want to be caught, like say you catch your neighbor's cat or whatnot, if you like cats, I don't like cats, I'm going to take them off and knock them in the head, but if you like cats and you want to turn them loose, you can turn this cage over, roll it with your foot, and this will just open up like that and the cat will be able to come out. And that's what you want and that's what I like about these on those non-target catches. But, so, anyway, what I used today is I went down to the traceway, got a thing of grease. Use cooking grease. Uh, everything loves used cooking grease. It's got all that fat and uh, stuff that they just, they sense uh, to want. And, uh, of course, I went down here to Dollar General right down the road from here and got some uh, cat food. Usually I get, like, the $2 cat food, uh, but all they had was this $9.50 cat food. And I'm going to tell you, like I said before, I don't like cats that much. I'd never spend that much on cat food. <laughs> but if you like cats, it's okay. <laughs> but I don't like cat. But anyway, we're gonna put this in there, put the used cooking grease as a lure, draws them on in. Plus if it rains and this gets wet and mushy, this still has the sense uh, to draw them on in and hopefully catch them. But <sighs> hope that my cat comments don't offend you. And if it does, remember, it's okay to be offended. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna show you something real quick. You can see how it's all up under there. Moving stuff around, digging, whatnot. So that makes me, I'm gonna put one right here too and, and whatnot. So anyway, I just wanna show you that. They're right here in the front. And they said they've been seeing them come across the front and everything. So <sighs> maybe we can catch this dude. Now, since most of the traffic seems to be coming from this way or where I'm seeing all the foot tracks going up under there, I'm gonna have this trap facing this way. That way, if he's coming this way, he'll already be directed to go in there. So, what we'll do is we'll take some of this. Lord, how much? Now I know why it's $9.50. <laughs> the packaging. <laughs> the packaging would be tough. Oh, I just grabbed my old weedy, weedy knife here. If it's more expensive, that means I ought to catch more skunk, should we? will just take we'll just take a little bit of that there. Put it back there. And like I said, anytime you're trapping, you gotta have a lure. And that, that'll just be in the air. The center of that'll be in the air. And it don't take much. You know, just run it like it right there. Like that. And uh they'll smell it. He'll smell that stuff and hopefully come on in there and get caught. Be right here at the front door. They'll love that. <laughs> I got it scratched. Remember I had the scratching right here, the digging? Same thing here. So we're we're already in the location they want to be. Set that trap. The reason I got these gloves on, because it's oil be nasty. And then it gets on my fingers, you know. I like to bite my fingernails. juice in there anyway what we're doing just putting that cooking grease in there, and then we're gonna set one over there as well but as you can see I didn't set any right here but I want to tell you the reason I set one right there is because if they work the back line of the wall of that and then come over here if they come out then they're right there at the trap so that helps on that and then I'm gonna put the two right here mainly where they're going in and out. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to uh, catch multiple maybe. Like I said, a little bit of that. Put that in there. And I don't know since we're done with this part, but that's where they're coming in at. Coming in and out. We'll do that. And then hopefully we catch a couple of them. If they make their way on around or coming 
they could be going where that water hole was they could be going under there and coming out there as well so anyway there's a little fact about uh the skunks is the reason they spray up under there a lot of times they're not spooked about anything so this time of breeding season the males get a harem of females it's about like putting a bull in a, in a field full of uh, cows he finna knock them all up that's what happens here so they spray that brings in more so uh he'll have my harem of ladies They'll go in, get bred, come back out. Next one go in, and any which way, they love to get to fighting and carrying on up under there. Males, females, whatever. And uh, you know how it is. Males are always gonna fight over it stuff. Yeah. And females are gonna fight over some old sorry fellas trying to breed everything. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm gonna get that set over there. We're out of here. We'll see you when we catch some skunks, come on. Well, we got the call today about the skunks being here, and look what we got here. We got one that's not so active, and we got one that's very active. And I figure coming out right there, he's just a digging and digging and digging. He's just chilling. So we'll get these hopefully loaded up here shortly and see how it goes. That's a good one right there. So what we're going to do is, uh, tell you what, uh, we'll take this jacket and, uh, this, this skunk's a little spunky. So we didn't bring everything. We didn't bring the sheet. So we're just going to cover this up. He's a little spunky. Oh yeah. So we're going to try to cover this one up a little bit there, JP. You okay, buddy? Put your guns, buddy. Win. Yeah, you need some? Huh? You want some? Well, yeah. You okay? What are you doing? Did you just throw it over there on him? Don't throw it, just ease it easy. Easy, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Or I will, I don't know. It's okay. It's he okay. seems a little spunky. He is spunky. It's okay. Look. Just cover his ass so he can't. You okay, buddy? None of that. He's a little spunky. That rain stopped. Just lay it down. It's okay. We're all good here. Yeah. All good. He got a little, little puff of. Yeah. Puff a little bit, but that was to be expected. He was kind of big. Yeah. Just watch his legs. But it's gonna be heavy. Yeah. He'll puff a little bit. But Hey, when you, hey, <laughs> when you, yep. He puffed a little bit. He just did it when you, when you raised it up, he had his tail to you. <laughs> what a rascal. Uh, yeah. Hey, buddy. You little one, you don't, you, you're good. Hey. Mm -hmm. I like it when I got that acid on for you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It goes a lot easier and you ease up to them. Mm -hmm. them once. Hey, don't you be some funky neither. Look at him, he's he, he, patting them feet. He that's patting that's, his feet. He's he giving me a warning. Whew, it's rough. He just sprayed again. Was you wanting to keep that jacket? <laughs> yeah, the jacket's over with now. God dog, David. Mm, <laughs> they I wish, ought to film you. Yeah, I should have brought the. Uh, dang, I should have brought the, uh, the other thing. He said he want that thing now. Yeah.
There it is. Stay in there. Man, I hate that that, that one puff. They gave, he gave that warning puff. He didn't I don't want full, that back. He didn't give a full spray. Leave that it. in the rain. Leave that jacket in the rain. Okay. That's like my best jacket. Dude, man. You, I wish you could <laughs> That's like my best jacket. Hey, you know, maybe uh, maybe all this money you making over here at this, at this skunk, y'all, you can get you another one. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna charter for it. Jacket. I'll tell you what, y'all must love y'all job. <laughs> y'all got to be hey. getting $100. Hey, I told everybody, my worst day of trapping is better than any, any other day I've ever had. So. I don't know. You told them a lot of stuff trapping, though. <laughs> I told them a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Maybe not your most expensive day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, tell them to leave them other ones, uh, leave them possums and everything alone. We're going to take them off. It's fine. Or he will. No. I said, just, it just. I really wish we could. That's a, you got a good little haul today. Okay. All right. Well, JP, I appreciate you helping me out. It, you. Wasn't, it wasn't ideal. Uh, we did our best. Uh, we, we're going to forget the rest. Uh, the people still here at this place, they're going to remember it for a little while. But uh, yeah, that's on them. And but it's we're going I, down the highway. It smells a lot worse inside that building than it does out here. So. Well, uh, I don't work here, so. <laughs> yeah, we don't work here. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I got more to do. More hogs to take care of. So. Man, you got a lot of irons always in the we'll fire. Be, be rolling. We got basketball tonight in Grenada. So anyway, I appreciate it, buddy. Man, absolutely. And uh, we'll see you shortly. All right, guys. We are back at the uh, crane operating place, and looks like we got another stunt. Over here, and I will explain that one here in just a little bit. But we need to get this one covered up and on the thing, and hopefully, not get sprayed today. Well, he seems to be balled up pretty good. So, what we're going to try to do is get him covered up and then put on this truck. Put on the trailer, the tailgate. My goodness, I can't even talk. lady just come outside that works in the office of course they sprayed up under there oh uh, the skunks did anyway she come out she said you got a huge one over here but i think this trap's already been moved because uh jp probably moved it to put some stuff over here he, he dropped off some stuff for me today for some beaver trapping stuff he said i laid it by the skunk he said that way <laughs> we're about nobody stealing it oh uh, but anyway and he brought back those cages so i don't have jp with me oh goodness we got three we got two more yeah we got two more skunks okay all right <laughs> now, that's pretty cool stuff got two more skunks right there and that one's already looking at me like what's up with you man <laughs> so we'll see here shortly how this is gonna go you can see there we got one in there actually two but this one was caught right here so it was caught on that corner right there is where that one one of those were caught and then one was caught where we reset where we caught the other two the other day so oh that's five total we caught right here Very cool. we've just been using uh cat food and used cooking grease so anyway Took this, took the other one down the road, give me the old head knock. So, uh, if I could reuse this cage, and uh, we're just gonna try to load this one up as well. So, normally I would have several of these to do it, but I got an event tonight to speak at, and I don't want to uh, 
get sprayed just by picking it up, kind of like we did, me and JP did yesterday or the day before, whenever it was when we got them. But anyway, I'll see you up here and see what we do. Well, yeah. so JP's gonna let me borrow some of his beaver trapping stuff that we had. Uh, we're trying to do some beaver trapping. You'll see that footage and everything. But I will say, uh, all three skunks end up spraying, uh, and I have an event tonight. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> we might close out early tonight, boys. But anyway, we're gonna reset the traps, and we got uh, so we'll have all our traps uh, available. And uh, cause I just went down the road and took care of them. Is what I did, so. Uh, oh, so I'll say reset them and then the, one of the guys that work here, he's gonna ride by here in the mornings, uh, Saturday and Sunday. And if, if I have something, I'll come get them. If I don't, then I don't have to drive back over here because it's about, about 40 minutes over here, I guess. So, anywho, there it is. We're gonna reset and uh, go home, get a shower and get ready to go do the show. Any which way, let's rock. Well, I guess the skunk job is done. Loading up traps and uh, I'm gonna lay them in there and finish up. Get one more. Good to do business with them. <clears throat> I had a guy come check, the guy that worked here, he checked all weekend. So we went about, this is day four day three day three or four haven't caught anything maybe one little old cat that got caught they released or something like that they said something about a cat so uh other than that we finna end it we got another scum job we're going to tomorrow i think not today i got some business stuff to do so y'all pray for me on that uh but anyway got all them duke cages lined up in there and well Hope you enjoy. Hope you kind of understand how to trap some skunks and understand that I'm a nuisance trapper. When things are a nuisance, 
I come in to make sure they're not a nuisance to anyone or any business or anything. Don't understand it, all I can do is explain it to you. I'm my job to make you understand. <laughs> Any which way, y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. Oh!